HHN 2012 Memories. Let's do this. What is up you guys? We're gonna do HHN Memories 2012. Now, I have so much to talk about with 2012. 2012 was the first year I actually got to brought my uh, cousin and my dad, and uh, we had such a great time. Like usual, I'm gonna look up the 2012 list so I can talk about everything, and we can have a good time talking about it, because uh, you guys seem to really like the last one. I challenged uh, TLEV, uh, Awkward Arts, and Soul Cal Exploring to do this video. Um, as of this recording, I don't know if the videos are out yet. I have gotten responses that they're, they're probably going to work on something like that. So, uh, if they are out, thanks for responding, guys. If they're not, I know Awkward R6 said he's coming out around more of the time of the, the, the event. So, wait on him because he always puts on amazing content. So, let's get started with 2012's um, HHN. HHN 2012. Uh, what can I say about it? Uh, the mazes were... Mazes were good. I didn't, actually this year I didn't get to go in, that year I didn't get to go in two mazes and I'm a little bit bummed out about that. So um, let's just talk about the event, uh, my memories of the event, my worst memories of the event and uh, breaking down everything. Uh, let's talk about Universal Monsters Remix first. Now Universal Monsters Remix was really awesome. That actually got me and my cousin into figure that year who was the uh, music choice for the uh, maze. So they basically took all the Universal Monsters and they DJ'd them up. They had a DJ named Figure come in and do all the original uh, music for each and every monster, which was really cool. So as you walked in, it was sort of a party in there with the original classic Universal Monsters. I had a great time going through this maze. I remember me and my cousin were loving the music. We still love the music to this day. We actually made an HHN playlist on Spotify um, of all the songs that we listened to going up to the event. Um, so yeah, uh, Universal Monster Remix was just amazing and honestly uh, a really good maze. I'm going to rate that maze 9 out of 10 because honestly I had a really good time going through it and I just, it was just awesome. The next one we're going to talk about made a return, La Llorona. Um, honestly, it was the same as last year, uh, or not last year, as the same as 2011, should I say. It was still really good, um, honestly, and, and I'm glad it stayed around for another year so I could show my uh, dad and uh, my cousin that maze. So we had a really good time uh, going through that maze. I think it was a little bit better this year because I had my family actually with me and I brought um, um, my family to the event so we had a really good time going through it. Like I said, it, it was just a fantastic well put together maze. Uh, this maze obviously is going to get, uh, I don't know what I, I don't remember what I gave it last time, I think I gave it a 7.5 out of 10 or 8.5 out of 10. Uh, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 this time around because I think just the experience for me was um, way better with my family and everything. Walking Dead Dead Inside. So Walking Dead was a really big thing in 2012. It was actually really growing up. And we got to see uh, we got to see the first ever Walking Dead attraction, which was really cool. I had a, a great time going through this maze. Um, I really had fun. It was awesome. Also, fun fact about this maze, and I found it out when I did the podcast with him. Awkward Arsic was a scare actor during this maze. Uh, if you go on YouTube, you might be able to find him, honestly, because uh, uh, it, it's really cool when you find out that uh, a YouTuber like me was a scare actor at this event, so that's awesome. Um, he told me a cool story that he got to scare like the cast of Walking Dead, so that was really cool. But I had a really good time going through that maze. It was all of season one, so the best moments of season one was in there, and I had a really good time walking through it. It was so awesome. One of the best mazes put together uh, at the event for 2012. Walking Dead gets, um, honestly, a 9 out of 10 because it was so good. Next one we're going to talk about, Alice Cooper Goes to Hell 3D. Now this was the sequel to Alice Cooper's Welcome to My Nightmare, which was a phenomenal maze, and I have to say the sequel was phenomenal as well. Uh, back to Alice Cooper Goes to Hell though, Alice Cooper Goes to Hell was honestly the sequel to Welcome to My Nightmare, another Hell, or another uh, Alice Cooper uh, related maze, and this one was in 3D, so it was so freaking cool. Um, you got to go through the uh, seven, De seven Deadly Sins and listen to a lot of Alice Cooper's famous songs again. Of course, the main song being Go to Hell because that was the name of the uh, 
maze and we had such a good time going through it. Actually, fun fact and a little bit of a funny story in that maze. There was one part where they show strippers dancing and stuff like that and there was a fake guy, didn't see him, walked around the corner and he scared the shit out of me. I actually got scared. One of the strippers actually called me a bitch. So, laugh it up. Uh, I got scared. They got me. So, yeah. And Alice Cooper Goes to Hell gets a 10 out of 10 as well because it was a really good maze. Uh, I didn't go through Silent Hill nor did I go through Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I am a little mad I didn't get to go through them. But uh, we didn't know a system uh, by the time we were going around together for the first time as a family. We didn't have a system yet. Now every year we go through all the mazes which is good. We did however watch Bill and Ted's excellent show and I'm glad we did watch it because that was the last year they did it at the event. And my dad was telling us that Bill and Ted was funny so he wanted to sit down and relax and watch it. And... We did. We had a good time watching it. Uh, it was a parody show, so they made fun of a little bit of everything. And obviously, the theme behind it was death trying to get uh, Bill and Ted. So it was really cool. Give the show um, probably a, a 10 out of 10 because it was the last one. Um, next, we're going to talk about is the Terror Tram. It was Walking Dead theme, and it was really cool to see the back lot transformed. And it looked, it was just perfect because the plane crash and the base motel and the base house, it all looked uh, perfect for a zombie apocalypse. Walking through the set, like I say every year, is just a dream come true because I want to be a filmmaker and it's just so awesome to uh, walk through the Bates Motel and everything because it's it's part of history. It's it's amazing. So uh, the Terror Tram, honestly, the first year they did The Walking Dead, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Um, and yeah. The Scare Zones, we're going to talk about Clowns. Clowns was amazing. Uh, clowns was cool. That was actually, I think, I want to say that was the last year they did the Fire Shooters. I may be wrong. They may have done it uh, a year two after that but um, the clowns was cool I think that was the last year they did clowns because the next year I think they did purge so uh, clowns was really cool um, I really enjoyed clowns it was from the main entrance all the way to where the walking dead at, uh, started at so that was really cool and I really enjoyed it the second scare zone I want to talk about is toys which took place for now where the walking dead is all the way to where despicable me is now um, I had a really good time going through toys. It, they brought a bunch of like toys and they made them all demonic and looking and stuff like that. So that was really, really cool. Witches was really cool. It's, it's from where uh, Despicably is now all the way to Animal Actors, which was really cool. Um, witches had a bunch of just witches running around everywhere and um, they look uh, really scary, look really cool. And just the fog effect with the witches are really cool. And I really enjoyed walking through that. Uh, and the last scare zone uh, that I sadly never got to go through was uh, Silent Hill because I never made my way down there, which was Silent Hill and Texas Chainsaw. But nonetheless, we still had a good time that year. Um, so yeah, that was HHN Memories 2012. Um, I know I popped out two this month, so starting next month, it's going to be a monthly series. I just had to get caught up a little bit. I think, actually, i got to recount it. Maybe we get one more this month, maybe not. Uh, thanks guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed HHN Memories 2012. Uh, be sure to look out for HHN Memories 2013 coming real soon. Uh, subscribe to my Anthony Zaragoza channel. Subscribe to obviously this channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Don't fuck with them,